Hi guys, it's Miss Carly. I am here with this week's um, video lesson. I am here in the art room. Um, so this week we are going to do a fall project. Um, we're going to do a Zentangle pumpkin. So a Zentangle is just pretty much doodling. We have done them before um, in the art room with me. It's just where you pick different lines and patterns and designs and fill in a shape. We did it um, one time with uh, initials or your name. Um, so this time I'm going to show you how to do a watercolor background and then we'll do, um, I'll show you how to draw a pumpkin and we'll do that on top and then you can fill it in with different lines and patterns. Um, there should be a idea sheet also attached um, that you can click on and see some examples of Zentangles. It will look like this. So you can look for it there. Um, and then have that open um, to give you some ideas. So what you're gonna need is a piece of white paper, um, a Ziploc bag of some sort or a piece of plastic, markers, and then water. And then you're going to need some sort of black, either a marker will work, a Sharpie, a black pen, a blue pen, anything like that will work to do our lines and patterns. So gather up that stuff and then come back and we will get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to use is a Ziploc bag. Um, this is how we're going to do our watercolor because you probably don't have your watercolor kits at home yet. They're coming in the mail, um, but until you get them, this is an easy way to do watercolors. So what you're going to do you need to use um, washable markers. So Crayola markers will work, any brand as long as they're washable. Um, I'm going to do um, red, orange, and yellow as my background because it's going to be a fall thing and um, these are good fall colors. So all you're going to do is color right on top of the plastic bag. It may look like it's not sticking. It may look like it's kind of bubbling up, but that's okay. And then you can do whatever colors you want. Like I said, I'm doing red, oranges, yellows for the fall. If you wanted to do just one color, that's fine. If you wanted to do all the colors, that's fine. Whatever colors you want to do. And then once you have the whole plastic bag covered like this, you want to get this wet. So there's a couple options. If you have a spray bottle, you can spray this with water. Or, since I don't have a spray bottle, I'm going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to take my white piece of paper and I'm going to put water on this. So you can spray this too and that will work. Because what we need to do is get the marker to transfer to the paper. And you want quite a bit of water. And you want to move quick. If you can tell, I'm trying to get this all covered wet pretty quickly. So it doesn't dry. And then you're going to take the Ziploc bag. And you're going to set it right down on your paper. And press with your hands. And you'll see... You can kind of see the water working. On this. Like that. And then when you pull it back, you will have watercolor on your page. And it's made it a really nice watercolor. So now what we can do, we're going to do our Zentangle design on top of this. And again, this is an example of Zentangles. So really all they are are different um, lines and patterns and designs. There's really no wrong way to do it. Um, it's whatever 
doodles that you can make or come up with um, will work. And I will um, take a picture of this and put it with the assignment so you guys can see it. Okay, so then what we're gonna do on top of here is do our pumpkin. You want to make sure this is really dry. So if you got it really wet and it's um, there's puddles and it's still kind of damp, you might want to set it to the side and let it dry and then come back and finish it. Mine seems to be okay for right now. So to do a pumpkin, you can do it in pencil first if you want. Or you can go right in with marker. Pumpkin shape. Backwards letter C. Regular letter C. And then we want to do some bumps down here at the bottom. Like that. And then we'll add our stem to the top. It kind of looks like an apple right now, so we need to give it the lines that a pumpkin has. The key to doing the lines, we don't want to go just straight up and down because that's going to look flat we need to curve them. So you are starting right here at the point and you are curving them out and down. You're going to start at the same point. Curve out and down. You always start at that same center point to make your lines for the pumpkin. Now, the zentangle part comes in with each of these ridges or sections. So you can start, you can look at these ideas, or you can just do your own. So I like swirls. So I'm going to fill in this whole section with swirls. And you just keep going and do this whole section in swirls. And then this one I might pick something else. This one I might do something like curvy lines. And then come back and do dots in between. And I'll fill that whole section with those. This next section, maybe I pick something like doing lines like this. Just different straight lines. And I'll fill this whole section in with that. And then you just keep going and each section you fill in something different and then you have a patterned Zentangle pumpkin. If you do one of these, make sure you take a picture and post it. I would love to uh, see how they come out. I hope you guys have fun. I will see you next week.